Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday, um, the 11th. I think it's July 11th. I can't remember <laughs> exactly. But anyways, it's, uh, yeah, today I'm gonna do a episode. <laughs> I think it's 146. Uh, disclaimer, I have laundry going in the background because we went swimming yesterday and I forgot to wash the towels and bathing suits. So they sat overnight, so yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Uh, real life, you know, hashtag real life. Uh, Devin took Jesse over to Devin's dad's house. He cooked breakfast this morning, but I didn't want to go because I was not feeling good. <laughs> Me and Jesse both woke up this morning. There's a little bug. Um, gunky and just gross. So, Jesse, we gave him some kid medicine and he seems to be doing better, but I just still don't feel that great. <laughs> but um, I tend to get sick in my throat a lot. I have, like, issues with my tonsils and stuff. I always swell up. So... Yeah. Anyways, that's too much information. I have some finished objects to share with you guys today. And I have one whip I can show you because the other one is my Halloween project up there. Which I did work on. It's just, it's not, you're not going to see it for a long time. <laughs> not until after the person I'm sending it to. My hair looks crazy. Uh, in October gets it. And then I will show you pictures of it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I also have some Happy Mail to share. So my first finished object doesn't have a pattern. It was just one that I made myself and it is like a couch caddy for over the arm of the couch to put our remote in because <laughs> we lose it a lot but uh yeah I, I know there's patterns out there for it because um i know sarah satch has one and there's i think uh snappy tots has one i've seen a couple of them but i just kind of wanted to just start <laughs> and do it so i did end up using a whole skein of um premier sweet row i'm not sure what the color is because it didn't have a ball band on it and then when I ran out of that, I added some Red Heart with Love that I thought went okay with it. So here it is. I showed it to you guys before. So there's the front part. This is the pocket where the remote goes. And then the rest of it back here is made with the with Love because I ran out of the whole skein of um, Premier Sweet Row. But uh, yeah. And this, this Red Heart is Red Heart with Love Hot Pink. <laughs> I almost said Hot Red. But yeah, I just used, I used a, um, a eye hook fuzzies on it <laughs> um and i chained i think 60 or so and i just did uh half double crochets back and forth all the way down <laughs> till it laid over my couch arm the way i wanted it to you know a little bit on each side so it doesn't move so much we have big old fat couch arms <laughs> on our couch and then i just made a pocket i don't even know how much i just kind of was winging it i didn't <laughs> measure it or anything and then i tried to sew it in like the middle it's a little off center but that's okay it's for remotes and I made it big enough to put the remote in and it have space where it wouldn't fall out so our remote's pretty small but yeah I like it it's functional and it works <laughs> it does its job it keeps the remote from getting lost so there's that so there's no pattern to that I just winged it but um it's pretty simple it's just a half double crochet rectangle <laughs> with a half double crochet actually I think the pocket might be double crochet uh pocket sewed on there <laughs> and uh yeah that's it. I see. <laughs> and let's see here. The next one is I do have, um, I made four popsicle cozies for my sister. I showed them in a video recently. <laughs> I can't remember which video it was, but they're just really simple. Um, my hair is crazy. I keep, I keep looking at it. Just, just ignore it. <laughs> uh, popsicle cozies. Uh, I got the rest of the yarn right there. It was Lily Sugar and Cream American Stripes, I believe is what it's called. And uh, I made her four. She asked for some because her son uses them a lot. And um, it's basically a rectangle also. I just chained 11 and then I single crocheted 10 back and then did it back and forth until it wrapped around the popsicle. <clears throat> and then I slipped stitch them together. That's it. <laughs> it's very simple. Um, I'll pop up a picture. I believe I took a picture of them before I sent them to her house. And uh, I also showed in another video how you use them because some people was confused i know that people call those long popsicles that's like liquid that you put in the freezer and it freezes in this little bag different things <laughs> people call them freezies and all kinds of different things so i've just grown up calling them popsicles um that's the kind of popsicles are for not the kind with a stick <laughs> but um yeah so i will uh, that was my most recent video let's see here it was the movie and stitch video for uh jk and l and it also said popsicle cozies and snake plant or something like that was also in the title that shows the kind of popsicles i was referring to anyways i got four of those done and they're already being used at my sister's house 
And then uh, my next finished objects are my JK and L squares for my hashtag movie and stitch blanket. The rest of my squares are stacked up right here. <laughs> That's the one for inside out. Um, so let's see here. My J one was for Jumanji. So I made the front door because <laughs> one of my favorite scenes in that movie is uh, when the cop and the ant are at the front door when the monsoon hits and uh, trying to get in and then the doors burst open and water comes flowing out and then the cop and the ant <laughs> are on um, the doors floating down the, ro the road and like alligators go by home. I just, I just love that part because I love the way the cop is like screaming. It's just funny. But so I made the door. And it's t it's, it is textured. I made the little panels on the door and a little door handle fuzz <laughs> but yeah and this is just scrap yarns uh i'm pretty sure it's all red heart i think it's cafe latte white and one of the blues and then for k i made one for the knight's tail <laughs> this one's not that great i tried to make a lance but um it doesn't really look like a lance but again it's uh red heart scraps it's cherry red one of the greens and black and then for l i did the little mermaid so and this is uh, turquoise, tur turquoise, whatever it's called, <laughs> I can't remember. And then uh, this is really bright red, I can't remember what it's called, hot red. Buff, a blue, and a green. <laughs> and this is the only one that I use the actual pattern for, the applique. It's called uh, Mer People Garland by Mermaid Wiggle. Dot wordpress .com. <laughs> I'll have it linked below. And the square pattern, actually, I just tie them because I'm planning on, um, when I get to it done, I'm going to put fleece on the back of it. Um, the square pattern is called Super Says It Best Square. I can't remember who wrote that, but it'll be linked below in the description. I'm using the same square pattern, and I'm trying to make my own appliques. All these ones are just my own, but every now and then I need some help, so this is a, another person's design, but I'll link that below. So I'm caught up on my squares. I gotta make M and N next Wednesday, by next Wednesday. And I don't even know what my movies are going to be yet. I haven't decided. <laughs> but um, I'll cross that bridge when I get there. My last finished object this week was something I made for Jesse. He loves all things um, Mario, like Super Mario Brothers, the games. And he watches the show and stuff. And he has all kinds of toys. <laughs> so um, I found this pattern just one day looking on Ravelry. And I decided to make him. I made him the red mushroom. And I'm probably going to make him the green one also. So this is just the Mario mushroom by Linda Potts. So here it is. I didn't put the eyes on it. Um, I was going to, but he said he didn't care if there was eyes on it or not. So it's just a mushroom. But he plays it a lot and he pretends to get bigger when he has this, which is so cute. But I just made it again with scraps. It's all red heart uh, white and cherry red. No, 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 this isn't cherry red. This is a scrap of um, paint box yarn that I was gifted by Carla a long time ago, last year or the year before that, she sent me a bunch of, she made a blanket, one of those polka dot blankets by, um, The Secret Yarnery, <laughs> and she sent me a bunch of scrap balls from that blanket, and it's all paint box yarn, and I'm slowly been going through them, that's what this is, I don't know what the color is, but it's similar to cherry red from Red Heart, but it's different texture, anyways, there he is, very simple, you start down here, and you work all the way up to here and close, and then you just make five little circles, and so on there. So that's the red mushroom. It's the one that makes you get bigger. And then I'm thinking about making him the green one that's the extra life. And uh, he also wants me to make him a star. <laughs> a Mario star. And uh, I might try to make him a Mario and Luigi Amigurumi for maybe Christmas this year. I think he might like that. That gave me plenty of time to work on it. <laughs> but uh, he likes it a lot. He plays with it a lot. So this will probably look really bad soon because he plays rough with his toys. But um, I'm just glad he's good at imagining mission playing whatever <laughs> but yeah so it's my last finished object cute little mario i used elf hook for this and worst weight yarn i think the pattern calls for smaller yarn and hook combo but i always use elf and worst weight that's just my thing <laughs> also if you notice this little batman guy back here we got that at a craft fair we went to yesterday we went to two different craft fairs yesterday one was a watermelon festival i had ended up we ended up having to leave that one because it was so hot and so big like we couldn't even walk around it was so hot and um me and Jesse was both getting like overheated, <laughs> but uh, it was still fun to walk around. This one was one that was inside of a building, so it was much better. But Avenger was selling these little guys. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they're supposed to be. I was a little worried because sometimes, you know, there are, there are things that are meant to hide illegal things <laughs> that people smoke. And I was a little worried this might be one of them because it's got some holes in it. <laughs> 
but Jesse had seen it and wanted it because it's a Batman and it kind of looks like a mine Minecraft figure. His head does come off, <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, I like supporting crafters, so I went ahead and got it for him anyways because even if it is something that you're supposed to hide illegal substances in, <laughs> it's not like we're going to. Jesse's going to play with it until it breaks, I'm sure, so um, I'll just set him up there because I thought it was cute. They also had a Hulk one and some that look like robots and stuff <laughs> and one with like a tutu on it. Anyways, Jesse also got a necklace, but I don't know where that's at. And uh, we didn't buy anything because I'm real picky at craft fairs. I like to look at everything, but it has to be something I really want. And I was going looking for Halloween decorations because I mean, we're already in that mood. I got me a fall candle over here. <laughs> but before I made this video, I was listening to Christmas music <laughs> while cleaning. So, you know, I'm just that person. It's getting close to my favorite time of the year. Anyways, whips. So my Halloween project is in this bag and I finished half of it. It's halfway done. I'm super excited about it. I've been sharing it with one of my friends um, because I know she'll keep it a secret. <laughs> so um, she, someone's getting to watch the progress and Devin thinks it's cool. So I'm getting there. The next half of it will be a lot easier than the first half, I think. <laughs> and um, I'm excited about it. But yeah, so it's, it's sitting there halfway done. <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait to... Um, to do that swap. I gotta, I gotta start getting the yarn together because we're swapping scrap balls of um, Halloween color yarns. So that's gonna be fun. Anyways, my, my last whip, my only other whip, is the blanket I showed in Watch Work on Wednesday. And I have not worked on it since then. <laughs> what is today? Today's Sunday. So it's been a few days. I haven't crocheted in a few days. I've just been busy. Uh, this is called the Ridged Ripple Baby Blanket by the Hazelnut Skein. Skein. So that's the back. <laughs> this is a friend. So it is got, got like a ribbed, uh, ridged effect on there. I don't know how good you can see it. But it's a four row repeat. So it's three rows of just regular crochet. I think it's half double crochets. And then one, the fourth row is in the back post. So it makes it kind of pop out a little bit. It's really cool. I like it a lot. I'm using yarn that I got at on clearance at Hobby Lobby called... Is it Premier? I can't remember if it's Premier. But it's, it's, um, I think it's Premier Bloom, and the color is Daisy. I got six balls of it, and I'm on the third one now, so I'm going to try to use all of them in this one blanket so I don't have a random scrap ball of it. But I think it's looking pretty cute. It's going to be a nice little blanket for some little girl. Um, I got the color originally because I thought it was gender neutral, but now that I'm working it up, it looks more just feminine me. <laughs> so, uh, I'll just put it in my stash. I need to make some boy blankets because the last one, la this one and the last one I made, for my baby gift stash <laughs> were feminine colors so I need to make some boy colors to have on hand and um, yeah because I love gifting blankets to people who are having babies it's an easy gift and when you have a baby you can never have too many blankets <laughs> because fluids going everywhere let me round up my ball but yeah so that's coming along I'm using a J hook with that my broken hamburger hook <laughs> just a bit the top of that off when he was like a year old and I, I still have the top of it. I just never remember to glue it back on there. But it's my broken hamburger hook. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all my projects so far. I did have an amigurumi started. It's still sitting there. But I'm not liking the size it's coming out. It's coming out way too big. So I'm, I'm probably going to rip it out and either restart it uh, with a much smaller hook. <laughs> or just, you know, put that aside and work on something else. I have found a few patterns that I want to get started soon. One of them is from Olive at stringyding.com. She put out a new um, little set of patterns that's like food related things and one of them is a banana split and I want to make that because I love banana splits and it's just cute and I love all her patterns. I also found a, like a, a uh, what, they, what is it called? It's something kerchief. But it's like, it's like a, like a bandana handkerchief that you put on your head. I can't remember what the pattern's called. I just favorited it on Ravelry. But I want to make some of those because I like wearing those in my hair when I'm doing cleaning and stuff. Especially now that I cut my hair and it's shorter. It gets down in my face <laughs> when I'm doing stuff. And it is long enough to put it back in a ponytail. But it is short enough that it comes out easy. <laughs> so I like to wear bandanas and stuff when I'm cleaning. And I thought it'd be cool to make some crochet ones. I have one that was gifted to me. But I'm not exactly sure where it's at. I wore it a few times and just gotten misplaced because everything does here <laughs> but yeah so I did get some happy mail I wanted to share with you guys let me get my regular mail out of it I have a bad habit of just sticking stuff I got the new Joann's booklet none of the good sales are until the end of the month I need some more interfacing and uh, it's not gonna be on sale until the end of the month and I need it before the end of the month but this is from my friend Randy and it's not Randy's ram random ramblings Randy <laughs> it's a different Randy 
Um, she sent this to me and she also sent a couple little things for Jesse. They're over here on his stack of books. They're little uh, like learning wheels. One's about the solar system and one's about frogs, which he really likes. Um, and then she sent me this book right here. I'm excited about it. Zoomagroomy number 10. I'm slowly getting a collection of all of the Zoomagroomies. I think I know I have five, six, seven, and I think eight. So I need the first few and nine. Maybe I have nine. I don't know. I can't remember. But I try to keep them in order on my shelf so that I know, like, if I'm out at Joanne's or something and their books are on sale, and I can get the ones that I need. I need to put it on my phone. <laughs> but it's Zoomagroomy 10, so it's got a lot of cute patterns in it. We'll flip through it real quick. Get to the patterns. So there's Andy the Ant. Really cute ant. Then there is, uh, I don't know, is that Bo? The giraffe. <laughs> it's hard to show you without showing the pattern. Bo the giraffe. And then there's Barry the Badger, who is so cute. That is so cute. Ah! Flipping too fast. And then there's Kai the Koala. Sleeping. And Levi the, the Lion. Mama and Baby Kangaroo. This is, Jesse wants me to make those for him. Reminds me of Kanga and Rue from Pooh Bear. And then there's Gary the Gorilla. <laughs> Ruff the Squirrel. That's so cute. Uh, Benji the Bunny. Cute little bunny bunny. Uh, Charlie the Crocodile. He didn't really look crocodile in this picture, but um, over here, he looks more crocodile when you turn him to the side. <laughs> and then there's Audrey the Owl. I don't like owls. <laughs> I'm actually scared of owls in real life. And it just stems from a childhood nightmare that I had that just stuck with me my entire life. I like cartoon owls, you know, they're cute enough, but real owl owls scare the crap out of me. <laughs> Max the Mouse. I love that. I'll probably make the mouse. It is so cute. Uh, Auntie the Anteater. And this is here. Cedric the Crab. Cedric. Cedric, I'm showing patterns, but not enough to make anything, I guess. I think there's one more. Is that the last one? Yeah. And the last one is Ollie the Corgi. Like he, we saw three corgis yesterday at one of the craft fairs, the outside one. There was one person was walking around with like a the typical that color corgi that you just showed, like the blonde color. And then another person we passed was walking one that looks like a calico kind of. I don't know what it's called, but it's like black and brown. And then that one had a little tiny puppy with it. And it was so cute. But thank you, Randy, for this book. I already thanked you through email. But um, it's just another one to add to the collection my mail back in there so I can remember to deal with it all <laughs> and yeah so that's everything not my notes I actually wrote them down this time instead of guessing <laughs> but um yeah so I'm hoping to get some new whips going because uh I'm, there's I've been finding a little things I want to make and I want to start a Christmas blanket uh I made the Halloween one by Maria's Blue Crown stupid gnat <laughs> um three or four years ago I can't remember exactly when 2018 or 2017 no I think it was 2018 um I made the Halloween one and I've been wanting to make a Christmas one ever since then because it came out before the Halloween one did and I think I got enough of the yarns thanks to that 64 cent clearance at Walmart of uh, those big jumbo skeins <laughs> so I think I'm gonna try to start that Christmas blanket soon because I'd like to have it my phone's dying on um for my couch for the holidays <laughs> but uh it's all fun. It's just squares and then appliques. The most annoying part is putting it all together and then lining it. I know you don't have to line the back of them, but I like them lined because uh, it makes them cozier and it looks pretty. I have to go get some um, fleece or flannel that is Christmas print. That goes good with it. I did that with my Halloween one and it's just purple on the back. 
but it turned out good. I like it a lot with it lined. Anyways, <laughs> but there's amigurumis and stuff that I want to make, and I want to make some of those bandanas for when I'm cleaning. Um, what else am I wanting to make? I feel like I saved a bunch of patterns lately. Oh, I'm going to be making a cardigan soon, because uh, I was asked to test one, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I guess that's it. <laughs> I don't have anything else, like, important to tell people. I do want to say that I wear this shirt a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've realized in my videos, my thumbs, my thumbnails, I'm wearing this shirt a lot. And it's because it's comfy. It's, it's a bigger shirt. It's, uh, you know, bigger than my size. It was gifted to me, so it's special. And um, it's like when I'm in the house just running around cleaning and doing stuff at home, I wear this shirt. <laughs> and I realize I wear it a lot, but it's, it's because of that. It's, it's a comfy shirt to wear just cleaning. My legs are cramping set in the floor. But, yeah, so I'm going to hop off here. i got to get ready to switch laundry over. I think it's about to stop. And i got some dishes that can't go in the dishwasher. i got to wash. And then I gotta figure out what to make for dinner tonight. I don't know. <laughs> I made some ham and cheese sliders yesterday in the oven and they were delicious. <laughs> I used actual ham that was already cooked. Well, you know, we bought it on clearance and it's been in the freezer in separate bags. You know, like I cut it up. So I used that and I used some shredded cheddar cheese and it's got like a onion butter on top of the buns. It's Hawaiian buns. It was so good. <laughs> But they were delicious. I liked it a lot. I ate it with pickles and it was just good. Anyways, I'm blabbing. <laughs> I want to start vlogging again. By the way, if you stuck with me this long <laughs> on my other channel, I kind of neglected that channel lately. And it's just because of when I was getting sick earlier, uh, like a month ago, I started getting like all kinds of stuff was just happening all of a sudden. And I just, you know, got distracted. But I want to start vlogging um, again. I miss vlogging. I enjoy vlogging. And Vlogist is coming up. You know, it's just, it's already in the double digits of July. Time is flying. So August will be here and I want to do Vlogus. I'm definitely doing Vlogtober and Vlogmas when um, the holidays get here because it's my favorite time of the year. I'm so excited. I'm already in Halloween mode. <laughs> I've already been looking for stuff for Halloween and um, looking at patterns. I want to make a bunch of little amigurumis for Jesse's karate class and he'll have school too. I was thinking about that because he starts school August 9th. We went and got his school stuff. It's all in there in his little backpack. Uh, but um, so um, I want to make something for his little class too. But I know there's other people with different religions around here. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I know there's a lot of, um, in our area, there's a lot of Jehovah Witnesses. There's a lot of Catholics and there's a lot of, uh, I'm not sure if they're Hindu or Buddhist. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> but you know, I don't want to see anything that's gonna be like majorly offensive. I know that the Hindu kids that live next to us in the next building, they're really nice, their families are, and they do Halloween because they come here for Halloween. <laughs> I always leave, because um, we trick or treat, you know, we have Jesse. Uh, so I, I decorate outside and I leave the light, porch light on and the blow up things. And I put a big bowl out there with candy and stuff in it. And they're the ones that always come and get it. <laughs> there's only, there's not many kids that live in our complex. It's those, and then there's some other kids over this way, but I don't really know if they come. But I do know our area does have a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses in it, so I know they don't celebrate holidays. I hate that because, I mean, I know it's their religion, but I hate it for the kids in classrooms where they're doing stuff for holidays, but they can't participate. That's just sad. But anyways, <laughs> I'm babbling. I want to make things for karate kids and for the regular school kids is what I'm trying to say. But I'm getting sidetracked because I haven't talked to you guys in forever, and now I'm just blabbing. But I really do got to get off here because my laundry's about to stop. I think it's about to do its last spin, and I got to clean. It's supposed to storm today, so I hope the power don't go out. But yeah, I'm going to hop off here. <laughs> And I will see you guys soon on the other channel on vlogs. So if you enjoy my babbling, which I do a, a lot, <laughs> definitely check that out. It's linked always in the description. It's called No Catch Name Life. It's been inactive for like two months, but I'm trying to um, do it. <laughs> I was going to actually vlog yesterday, but I left my water camera here. because so I was going to take some clips of Jesse swimming underwater. He's learned to swim underwater. And um, we have a little GoPro thing that Devin got through his work for working there for five years. <laughs> And um, it works quite well. It's not like a name brand one, but it still works really good. We've, we've taken a lot of clips underwater and stuff. And I meant to do that yesterday. I was going to film a lot of him swimming and then vlog afterwards. But I forgot the camera here and we were gone all day. <laughs> so it just ruined my plans. But anyways, I will try to vlog maybe maybe tomorrow. Because Jason got karate and stuff. It'll be fun to uh, get little clips of that. Who knows? But you know, it'll be there when it's, when it's there. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here for real this time. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, I guess that's it. Bye, guys. <laughs>